Yo, what's up, Skate World? Welcome to my latest workout tutorial video. It's gonna be 10 dryland exercises. It's gonna be my top 10 exercises that you can do on a single square meter, so you can do it at home. The exercises are gonna be divided so that we start out with the easiest ones first, and then we dive into the more technical stuff at the end of it. But it's all gonna help you develop your, um, your balance, your strength, and your skating technique. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section, and then Let's get to it, have fun. I'll do some commentaries to give you an idea of how it should look technically, some things to think about when you do them. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, like I just said, I'm gonna do a voice over here with a few technical cues and things for you to focus on when you do these at home or with your club or whoever you might be training with. The basic position, 90 degree knee angle, goes for almost every exercise we're gonna look at today. Uh, you should be able to touch your heels with your hands without changing position and you should easily fit a fist, maybe a fist and a half in between your knees here. And this is pretty much the same principle except you're gonna move up and down, squats. Make sure your knees are not getting wobbly, should move towards each other or outwards um, when you do these exercises. Upper body should also be stable. As you can see here, the upper body's not really rotating or moving, moving at all. So make sure you got that on point and then just do it at your own pace here. Here is another variation, it's gonna be wide squats. Uh, this one really engages the glutes, so you get that work done as well. Even though you widen your feet here, make sure they're still, both of them, pointing straight forward so you're not opening up your hips, because we definitely do not want to do that when we're skating. Look a little bit forward, not straight, straight ahead, but kind of through your eyebrows, so you can see where you're going if you were on skates but not to the point where you're straightening your back too much so you can't engage your core. Here is the narrow squats. Uh, this one takes a little more balance, um, but again, we're just touching slightly different muscle groups here. Um, make sure to get your knees out in front of your toes. When you're in the position, you should be able to draw a line here that goes from toe, knee, and then to the shoulders. Let's see what's up next. Here is the single leg position. Can be a tricky one. It's a lot of common mistakes here. Make sure your shoulders, everything should be pointing forward, including the shoulders. Also don't let the shoulders drop. And this leg that you got hanging in the air is very easy to let that fall out of position. And then we open the hip because when you're skating, you want everything to be pointing forward so you can push straight to the side. So make sure that it's just naturally hanging there and don't let the foot go behind the other leg. As you can see here, it's perfectly vertical the leg that's hanging so it could almost touch the heel of the opposite leg. This is just the next level of the very same exercise, single leg squat. So we're gonna move up and down. Do not change anything here. You should try and maintain that same position and just move up and down. The upper body shouldn't fly up as you move upwards. Same way it shouldn't fall down, fall forward as you go down into the skating position. Again, this is an exercise that you can do at your personal pace. Do not rush it. It can be difficult to get things right. Again, you're gonna probably feel that your knees get a little wobbly here because it does take a lot of balance and a lot of muscle strength. Make sure, almost every time you start a new exercise, make sure that you start out with that correct skating position, the 90 degree knee bend. It is really the fundamental thing to just about any skating exercise and skating in general. Here is the position push, push straight to the side here. Make sure that you got the hip all the way over to the side so you don't have your body weight in between your two legs. It should be fully to the side. We see you again from the side. Straighten that leg again. This is all about having the body weight all over and really feel that the carrying leg is actually carrying everything you got. Because this is when you go on skates, it's very important that you can push with all your weight and all your power on that leg. This is basically the same exercise, except we lift up the leg. This is really gonna activate the side of your butt, the gluteus medius. Don't let the shoulder tilt. It's a very common mistake here because you are gonna have some counterweight out there very easy to let here that would be my left shoulder drop towards the ground so if you can do these in front of a mirror also make sure that your leg is right next to the other like they should be aligned <clears throat> I'm 
Now we are gonna move on with the 10th and final exercise, the push transfer or weight transfer. Do not go up and down in between the strokes. Keep them perfectly parallel, the shoulders parallel to the ground, feet pointing forward, feet aligned, and just move from side to side. As you can see here, you don't have to lift the leg up like I just did. It's not actually a part of the exercise, but it is a really smart way to auto-correct yourself. Because if you have all the weight over on that leg, there's no weight on the opposite leg and you should easily, sort of, be able to move that off the ground. That's it. If this motivated you to get more serious about your skating or just take it to the next level, I have a few training plans below. I have one for sprinters, I have one for a marathon, and then I have one that's just gonna be basic strength training that you would do in a gym.